So here we have 6.4, simplifying a summer difference of radical expressions, univariate again. Um, this is just a little more advanced than the other one. So when we're doing this problem, we're going to do everything the same as we did before. So let me break up 72. I know that's 8 times 9. This is 4 times 2. That's 3 times 3. These are all prime. But this one is 2 times 2. And now they're prime. So I'm going to keep my 2w there. And then I'm going to do the square root of one pair, 2 squared. The square root of another pair, 3 squared. But I do still have this square root of this 2 left over. Then for the w, we're going to do 3 power over the 2 index. Now we move on to the next one. We've got a 50. So I'm going to break up 50 into 2 times 25 which is 5 times 5, and now they're all primes. Um, I don't have anything outside other than that minus, so I'm going to go into the pair first, which is these guys, and then the leftover guy next on its own, and then the variables is going to be the power over this index, too. So then let's see what we end up having. We have 2w times a 2 times a 3, because these undo each other, right? And then we have a W, 2 goes into 3 one time, but it'll still have 1 left over. Here those will cancel, I'll get 5. Here I'll have a square root of 2. And then a W, 2 goes into 5 two times with 1 left over. Now we got to multiply all of this together. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 24. A W times a W is a W squared. And this I'm going to put in its radical form, which is just the square root of w. Oh, I seem to have lost somebody along the way. This comes out as a 2, this comes out as a 3, and this guy should have still been in the mix, right? So I totally forgot about that guy. So since I have this, that would be square root of 2. And this guy written in its radical form would be square root of w. Now we've got that term correct. Here I have these two guys are on the outside, so 5w squared, and then square root of 2, and this guy in its radical form, which is the square root of w. Now you can multiply the square root of w's together, the square root of 2 and the square root of w. So this becomes square root of 2w. This becomes square root of 2w. And then you can, you have square root of 2w, square root of 2w. You also have to have variables that match in order for them to be completely like terms, okay? So um, they do though. This w squared, w squared, square root of 2w, square root of 2w. So they are completely like terms. So then what is 24 minus 5? That's 19. So I end up with 19 w squared square root of 2w. So it's a little bit more complicated as we keep going through these topics.